can um, we have a bit more of like a boss bossy kind of arena. Not sure. Of course, it probably want to make sense when you're in the actual um, uh, level itself once you've modeled it. But for now, let's jump back up here and let's shrink down Enviro. These are all the stairs we made. Let's just throw it into Enviro. That's all fine still. Cool. And drop that, drop that, drop that. Okay, so let's work on the throwable objects. So let's create a cube. And bring this up. That was really far away. Excellent. Now, first things first, let's create rigid object, rigid body. Um, excellent. Player, we want to uh, create a cube. I found this out. This would be really nice. Um, focus on that. You can press F. Now, which way is he facing this way? This way. Okay. I found this out where we can turn off mesh renderer, uh, make this probably a bit smaller, less thick, and bring it down, and then create a rigid body and turn on its kind of kinematic and turn off use gravity. And put this under your player, so that way it's actually parented to the player. And then you can see we've got this little box down here, and then when we walk up, we can uh, move the box around because it's actually moving um, because of this uh, little invisible thing. Because you notice if I hit it from this side of of here, it's not actually moving. But um, with this with this box, um, it gives the illusion that there's a um, movable object. And what we can do, um, let me just show you. We can duplicate these guys. All right, and to show you that it is fully um, fully working, there we go. So that's that's nice as it is. So now we want to have the option to walk up uh, and maybe have a prompt saying, "Hey, you can press F to pick up a box." So first things first, let's actually set up that um, button. So let's come to here. Let's press nineteen. We want to add one more to that number. And we want to create this button and call this interact. And the positive button will be F. You can set up the alternate alternate positive button for your um, for your controller if you want to. Uh, but for now, let's do that uh, in player. Actually, firstly in boxes, let's create a new tag, and we want to create this uh, pickable. So we can apply this to all the boxes that we want to be pickable. So pickable. Pickable and pickable and cool. So now we want to have the player. There's F. There's the player, and let's create a new empty object. And we want to say put object here. So this is where the the object's going to be placed. And let's chuck it in front. So that's pretty cool. So um, this is where the rigid body will actually be placed in front of the, the player so that way we can um, see it. And if I press play, um, you'll see that uh, this is going to move around in front of the, the player so that way it's not going to move up and down, but it's just going to move so that way the player is going to know that he's holding it. So that's that's going to be nice. Let's just throw this game view back up here. Alrighty, so now I'm player. Let's create a new FSM and we're going to say this is the object handler handler cool now we're going to say find object or find the closest object with the tag pickable must um, must be visible ignore the owner we want to store the distance this to object OBJ, every frame. Oh, we also want to store the object as well. So store the object. Let's just call it object uh, pick. All right. Now let's go to the variables, 
and turn on inspector for both of these so that way we can actually see what's happening when we press play. So let's jump back here and you can see it's um we're at a distance 6.764 and the first one is cube and I mean they're all cubes but um, you can see that we're close to different ones now so you can see that we're really close to this one or now that we're on this side we're quite close to both of these so now we want the option to say okay now that we're close we're within maybe what's a good distance to pick it up say less than two so if we're less than two you can press F alright so what we want to do is let's firstly create UI and some text and this UI canvas is going to be relative to the um, screen space we want it to scale with the screen size and we probably want it to match the the width or the height so let's make it match the oh, let's make it match the width and reference re resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080 which is uh, 16 by 9 and let's have a look where this text is gone let's bring it up here let's make it white let's see what's so it's right in the middle what I like to do is I like to increase this change these to both overflow overflow uh, turn that off so I like to scale it really nicely up and then we can scale it down and that way it'll give you nice crisp text and let's just create one that says press uh, F to pick up excellent now let me just shove this on the side and that way I can actually do this you can check it on 2D view so that way you can actually see uh, this is basically the screen alright and I want to I mean most games these days actually put it in in the the front of the screen so that way but I like to maybe put it just under the under the the, the, the middle of the screen so that way the player can see what's directly in front alright so press F to pick up cool let me just put this as a UI uh, help help text lovely we'll probably set up a UI camera later but we'll get around to that um, turn this there um, you'll notice that that should be pretty cool might actually um, I might move it down just a tad so that way it's just under that um, that light so let me just focus on this alright that should be fine let me just move that down maybe a little bit more alright so that should be fine and we'll have to trigger this to say that when we when we're close to it Alrighty, so let's turn that off for the time being. Come to player, object handler. Now let's do some math. Let's say float compare. That one. We want to compare the distance to object. We want to have two. If it is less than two, we want to say uh, allow pickup. This is a new event. Nope, let's connect this. So if it's less than two, allowed to pick up. And then once we're allowed to pick it up, let's say activate. Oop, activate game object. We want the game object to be specified and we want it to be this UI. We want to activate it. And then we want to reset it on exit because uh, we don't we no longer need it. And we want to say get button down. So we want to press the interact button that we just set up before and when we've interacted with it we want to say um, pick up because now we're actually picking it up cool let's shove that in there we want to put finished on here in case the player because we want to drag and copy this copy selected actions paste these in here and we want to say if 
he is maybe three. If he's greater than three, say finished. So that way it will go back and the UI text should turn off. So let's just um let's just snap this on the side and give it a quick play and see what's gonna happen. Alright, so we're allowing to pick up. Okay, we're in range. We could walk away. It's gonna say no. Okay, so let's go back forward. So that's working nice. Let's just um, move a couple of these around. Okay, now let's press F. We never actually set up the send event, so let's just jump out of 